know what? I I might let's see. Let's see if Oh, I, I did find out. Um I know last week we talked about um Gotham City Sirens. Right. And I know that they have a set cast for that. Uh-huh. Uh that it's going to have Black Canary um and obviously uh, Harley uh and the female police officer from the special crimes division. I, yeah. I can't remember her name off the top of my head. She's in Batman um She's in the Batman Nolan movies. She's in a lot of the comics and, and animated movies and stuff. And then I think there was one other heroine that I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, and I know uh, one of the characters was, I think that they're trying to save this girl from the mob. The girl, the, her name at least, is the name of one of the um, Bat girls that have existed in comics. So that might be a way they take it too. Um, not really on any word on why she's taken over by the mob. Oh, pardon me. Yeah. Uh, but she's like in custody of the black mask and they're going and they're going to fuck up the black mask. Right. Um, so yeah, that's, that's one thing we mentioned. Little correction. No, um, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I was okay. going to say, we probably, were, like, I forgot we weren't actually recording. Well, we are recording. Right? Yeah. But I mean, like, I mean, we could, we could start the podcast there. How you guys doing today? Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's the Ungodly Geek Show. We're doing. Yeah, stuff. we don't even know when our podcast starts anymore. No, Yay. I mean, well, that's kind of how I've <laughs> that's kind of how I've done it for at least the last I don't know fifty episodes, where we'll just talk and let's say, and ah, then you give me the give me the warning, and then I we do the intro. Yeah, um, sometimes I don't even give you a warning. I just start with the intro. So yeah, um, how you guys doing today? I'm Joe. That is the warning. I'm Luke, and uh, we're we're doing things uh, like we Yay. said before, which is you know, a, a, a good feat for us. Cause we're awful at doing things. Yeah. Yeah. This week's kind of been, it's just, I, I know you're feeling under the weather. I feel like shit. Yep. yep. Um, it's yeah. kind of been that kind of week. I, yeah, I've definitely been, I've definitely been sick this whole week and you can almost like, I can hear it in my own voice. I um, can definitely hear it. In your voice. Yeah. Through, it's... through the microphone and everything. Cause you know, there's that feedback loop from, from the Yetis. So I, I definitely feel awful <laughs> mm-hmm. and I kind of just want to die. Um, but I'm not as sick as I was a few weeks ago where I would sneeze and it felt like my face was going to jump off and then punch me. So <laughs> that's kind of nice, you know, but, uh, yeah, you that know, is good. I'm going to open, uh, uh, cause I'm going to try to keep this, this going, uh, this little new stupid news stories. Cause I love them and yeah. some of them are absolutely fucking hilarious. And, uh, I'm going to open this up with a story from the New York post, um, it's titled, Do You Have Both Testicles? NFL Combine Questions Get Weirder. And uh, <laughs> basically what happened is the Texas quarter, um, CB, Chris Boyd, was asked mm-hmm. by a team, and nobody knows what team it was. At least it's not been, this has not been updated to know what team it was, so nobody quite knows. Um, someone asked Chris Boyd, do you have both of your testicles? And he was like, yeah, I don't know why you gotta ask. It's like, why are you asking that? You know, like, then again, I guess last year, it's, it's better than last year's, um, well, not last year's, but a couple years ago when mm-hmm. they asked, uh, what's your, what's your preferred murder weapon? So what, what is this that's asked them? NFL, NFL scouting combines is where they get together and they oh scout players or team scout yeah. players. Right. And so they ask them questions to try to get to know them, see if they'd be a good fit for the team or whatnot. Um, and apparently sometimes they just ask really they just fucking, ask fucking off the wall questions. Yeah, like do you have both <laughs> testicles? Would you kill a guy with a, a gun or a knife? Yeah. Would you have a staring contest during with this guy? Like why? But yeah, from the Texas cornerback Chris Boyd, do you yes. have both of your testicles? And I'm just like, that's an odd one. That is an odd one. I mean, that is, I, that is so I, weird. I would I would like it just is why don't they just ask something like, hey, how's your testosterone levels? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Next year, they're just going to say, drop your pants. We want to see your dick. Like, yeah. what? No. What? Yeah. Did- how <laughs> long and how girthy is your penis? Like, it's already essentially. How um, bleached is your meat. asshole? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's already basically them going. And I've heard it described as almost like a slave auction. Yeah, um, I mean, and I mean, because that's I'm, really what the NCAA is. Oh, no, 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 this is NFL. This is the NFL. Oh, this is NFL. So oh, okay, so. No, like, they're, they're you're at, t- it's like, um, it's like picking up meat then. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you're taking the slave trade thing to a whole new fucking level with the NFL. Yeah. Well, at so. least they're getting paid. Well, yeah, that's true. 
Uh, well, NCAA. I mean, NCAA, they could receive endorsements, right? Like, I don't know. No. Oh, that's right. They get yeah. nothing. They're allowed, they're to, they're allowed to take gifts. Uh, they're allowed no. to take gifts up to a certain point, um, provided that they are, like, like I think stuff that is presented to the whole team or something. Like It's um, very, it's still It's very strict, strict, yeah. It's very strict, and but that's, they are. And that's, that's not stuff for, like, to get you to play. No. No. Yeah. The most they can get is scholarship stuff. And, and like, if you're a walk on, you don't even get that. I think if you get a gift more than like two thousand dollars worth or like valued at two thousand dollars, I remember reading something about this and I, I very well could be wrong because I smoke a lot of weed. But um mm. I do remember something about they're allowed to accept small gifts up to a certain point. Um but they will... the gifts have to be awarded to the entire team rather than an individual player so as a team like they could get like a free stay at a hotel or something yeah yeah, yeah. But, i can yeah. i, I can yeah. see that that makes sense um where it really gets tricky is when they're trying to recruit players mm-hmm. and that's where you hear stories of um eventually like a recruiter gets uh, a school's recruiter gets in serious trouble because they find out that he was buying shoes and really expensive shoes yeah. and taking a player out for like, they can, they can do things like take him out for dinner. Right. Uh, but like in this case, he was taking him out to like five star dinners and, and like then, you know, buying them um, vacations and things like that and to get them to come to that school. And all of that is a big no, no, even though they get there and then they're essentially an unpaid worker. Yeah. Like, Dude. Meanwhile, the NCAA rakes in billions. Right, and it's amazing. The coaches are paid such unbelievably um, ridiculous amounts of money. Fucking um, defensive coaches, like the third, you know, second, third, fourth in the like lineup of coaches, they're multi millionaires with their contracts. It's I I just want to be a multi thousandaire. Like, come on, yeah, for real. <laughs> I got my tax return and I'm like, yeah, I'm balling. And that's like a thousand dollars. Yeah. It's like, I got a grand. Ooh, that's a grand more than I had before. Yeah. And meanwhile, you got people. I'm happy to have a hundred dollars in my savings account. So, you know, go me. (laughs) But I, I did just pay off like a huge chunk of my debts too. So I got that going for me, which is nice. Yeah. Um, so anyway, have, let's move on. <laughs> I, I kind of have one of those little. It, it's not. It's not so much a huge news story. Uh, it's from Global News. Um, bus driver flips off students, tell kids to go fuck themselves or yourselves before abandoning the school bus at a gas station. <laughs> All right. Um, I have questions. <laughs> um, hey. Okay, I I can't be mad at him. I I, I can I fucking either. get it, you know. I but. would, I, I'm like, I'm like, you know, that's a really terrible thing to do. But at the same time, I get it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I I fucking understand it. Not just from like working uh, the retail environment that we do and uh, dealing with snot nosed little brats every now and then. All the most kids yeah. we get through are, are fucking sweethearts. But yeah, dealing with our snot nosed brats every now and then, you know, they're running around, they're fucking sitting there I just knocking remember shit being off a shelves. Teenager. Yeah, I was getting to that too. But, teenagers. Yeah. <laughs> we were we were obnoxious as teenagers. And I mean, I won't even like my school wasn't even that bad. Yeah. The middle schools in my district were. Um, but I I do remember there were those people that would just you'd want to fucking hit in the head with a baseball bat. Um, that thought they were funny back in the day. This is uh, specifically this is a Pennsylvania school bus driver is facing a slew of child endangerment charges after she allegedly drove the vehicle erratically and flipped off students while telling them to go fuck themselves <laughs> before abandoning the bus at a gas station. You uh, know what, man? Um, <laughs> middle school and high school students. Fucking so, no I mean, power yeah. to her. <laughs> Seriously. That's one hell of a way to quit your job. Teenagers are assholes. <laughs> I, wasn't it? It was Louie. Um, this is fucking basically straight out of Louie where they're on the field trip and he keeps on trying to ask the guy, like, what the hell are you doing? The dude's like, you know what? I'm not going to take this. I'm only paid uh, like eight bucks an hour for this shit. Fucking takes his newspaper and walks off the bus. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Oh, God, I, I, I love it. And, uh, I am, I am in 100, like, if there's like a GoFundMe for this lady, I want to contribute to it. <laughs> Cause I fucking, I, I get it. I, I understand. I, I fucking totally understand. God, I yeah, I remember being a teenager and like there were times where like I were I were very I was very quiet and and reserved yeah. because I was an introvert for the most part, but when I was in those emboldened states, I was an 
asshole. In fact, that's something that's kind of been a common theme throughout my whole life. <laughs> I've been an asshole my whole life. Um, yeah. Except there was a brief time after uh, some darker events in my life that I'd rather not talk about where I became more of a, a reserved, nicer fella. Not like the nice guys where I would hold a door open for a woman and then call her a slut when she wouldn't like suck my dick or something. But, you know... Like, I was genuinely nice and good and naive as hell, and then, you know, I got burned a bunch, and now I'm an asshole again. Yay. Anyway, yeah, I just, enough I, about I, I my just... childhood trauma. Let's move on. <laughs> my childhood, the way my childhood. Um, Reading more into this, I guess she drove and took a turn too fast, and the kids kind of, you know, freaked out, or yeah. telling her they're going to call the school, blah, blah, blah. That's when she flips the fuck out. Um, okay, so she was driving like a cunt, got called out for being a cunt, yeah. But like I said, like we've said before, though, like these oh, so events she... are like these. These are not one-off events. So. No, no, no. I, I, she apparently said, "Do you uh, do you want if I just pulled over and called everybody's parents to pick them up?" And apparently the kids all said yes. So she pulls over at a Sunoco gas station, hands the keys to a gas station employee, and walks away. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. This lady's now my hero. I, I don't even uh, care. That's that's amazing. I love it. I mean, she sounds like uh, she sounds like a cunt too. But I I, I kind of respect her cuntiness. Mm-hmm. She went she went off the fucking beaten path to fuck she, off. She just fully fuck embraced this. that shit. So fuck it. You're done. Yeah. I'm done with you. Fuck you. I'm done. She was she was more done than anybody than uh, most. And people. like you know, like I said, I mean, there's there's definitely more to the story than that. And it, this was not an isolated incident where she just decided to say fuck it. Like she's been. Pushed. Oh yeah, who knows how long she's been driving a bus? How fucking how much shit she's been through? But yeah. that's everybody. You just either take it or not. I mean, I'm I'm um, sure there's gonna come a point where somebody or something has said something to me and I just say fuck it leave my job like I mean there was that night that I walked out and I've never yeah. done that before I haven't done it since but I said fuck it and just left that one night I've been close with with uh, customers before but never but it's never it's never been quite like I mean, obviously I've never walked out I've told people um, I'm not dealing with it and just walked away from a customer before but that's about as close and that was after like everything had been there's nothing we could do um, there yeah, was but, one it's... point where I, uh, I had to, I almost punched a guy in his face. Um, <laughs> like there, there's been points where that, like, honestly, I, I am an asshole and I'm never, I, I've never shied away from telling people when they're stupid, but like, I also try to avoid some conflict because I'm just naturally leave me the fuck alone. And I don't want to deal with this. But yeah. there was one time, um, and it takes a lot to actually push me to that point, but there was one time I had to push this fucking dude in his face. It was like 8.30 in the morning on a Sunday, and you could smell the alcohol off of him. And yeah. he was just he was just pushing and pushing and pushing and insulting me and, and all this other shit. I ended up having to go grab somebody, like, you gotta get this dude off here. I'm gonna punch his teeth down his goddamn throat. <laughs> Yay, yeah, for almost punching customers. <laughs> Eh, some people don't get it. They just take asshole too way way too far. Yeah, yeah. Um, speaking of assholes, yes, grand jury has returned sixteen felony counts against uh, Jesse Smollett, the <laughs> TV star who <laughs> faked a uh, I hate crime, hate crime in Chicago. Yeah, he paid two Nigerian. Yeah. Uh, if, if you don't know about this, basically what happened was he was he was leaving what a, a restaurant or a bar one night. <laughs> But and, you broke up a little bit. I don't know oh, if it's okay. recording. Or not. It's recording me. It's not recording oh, you. Oh, okay. All right, well, then <laughs> Remember, everyone else I'm the one recording, so it, <laughs> it, it gets me no matter what. You might not know what the All fuck right. I'm saying, but they do. Um, he was leaving a, was he leaving a bar or was it a restaurant? I guess that doesn't matter. Um, he yeah, was, he, he was, knew he was walking through the middle of Chicago at he 2 was, Yeah, he was on his way home from wherever he was coming from, and Ooh. according to his story, two white dudes with MAGA hats came and attacked him and you know beat him down. And, you know, yelled some slurs, uh, you know, racial and, of course, uh, homosexual slurs. And uh, he reported this to police, blah, blah, blah. Police did an investigation. And for those who don't know, Chicago has a boatload of security cameras. Like, fucking yeah. everywhere. They have this huge network of security cameras it's on, like, like every street. London, specifically. Yeah, there's, London's like... Scott. In England in general, like, yeah. they have security cameras everywhere. There's like 37 security cameras on like every city block, right? Mm-hmm. So they they capture everything and they're sitting there. They launch an investigation because, of course, you're going to launch an investigation, right? Regardless of who it is, some dude got attacked and it's hate crime and it's, it's awful. Um, at the end of the Not investigation. Not only that, 
his story was really, really fucking weird from the beginning. Yeah. Um, I can't remember if he came from a subway, ended up at a subway. At some, I know, like he has, he's carrying a subway sandwich. Um, after, oh, that's what he was. Is, yeah, he after, was getting food, and he was yeah. coming back from the subway. That that's what it yeah. was. After getting jumped, um, he had. This is like with like an hour afterwards, he's still wearing a noose around his neck. Said he had no idea they had put a noose around his neck. Okay, um, okay, listen. I don't that, care how beat up I am. I don't care how shocked I am. After an hour, I'm going to notice a rope hanging yeah. from my neck. You know. On Maybe top that's of, just me. I don't know. Yeah. On top of this being in, it's like minus nine degrees out. And these two guys in mega hats were just waiting for the one, this one dude to walk by who happened to be black and gay so that they could beat the shit out of him. Uh, and it obviously it comes out. Um, like you mentioned, the cameras, they're only out of camera shot. And they were specifically he's pulled like out of camera shot for nine seconds or, or for, um, like something like nine minutes or incredibly short amount of time. Right. Um, and then this whole thing, um, he said he fought, like tried to fight them off and all this other stuff. So yeah, it, it was the whole story was very weird, but he, I mean, most everybody I saw were giving him the benefit of the doubt at first. Yeah. No, um, I mean, cause you, until like, we want to take this stuff seriously. Like that's yeah. the thing. You, you never necessarily believe them from the get go, but you always want to take these situations seriously. You want to you want to treat them as if the, you know they are true, and you want to get to the bottom of what's going on so that you can find who did it and stuff like that. Because you never, like I said, we never want to just dismiss this kind of shit, right? And even exactly. after this, we have to be very careful to not just outright dismiss this kind of thing because this is a very serious charge. We need to take it seriously, and that's the most important part: is that it was taken seriously, and it was. Yeah. And then they find out that oh, this it's it's all bullshit. Yeah. What um, he what he had done two friends was what, of his he paid like uh, forty five hundred dollars. Yeah, they still had a check. Um, they had the check he gave them. Like, there's so much stuff that's piled up. Now they found. Uh, apparently there was some fucking note or letter. Right. Um, that they had that he had or that they found, and it was in his apartment. Uh, they still had the magazines. They cut the letters out for it. <laughs> like, just the craziest shit of. Why, dude? What what the fuck? Like what you not only did you go through all of this and do this, which is already fucking stupid. Already you did heinous. it so poorly and so out there. It's almost like he was going for, hey, the more ridiculous it is, the more likely uh they are to believe it is almost what it seems like. Yeah. Um like all right. Not only that, he did it he he, he did he damaged you know, the black community, he damaged the gay community, he damaged the crossover there, which is not very huge, for money. Yeah. He did it because he didn't think he was getting paid enough. Yeah, Are you he fucking didn't, kidding me? Well, no, he thought he was going to get cut from the show. No, no, he no, he did it for money. That's what it was eventually come out. Was he did it because money? he wanted oh, to cool. collect. Oh, okay, because I he thought went... he just wanted to get himself to be kept on the show longer. Uh, no, see, that's the thing. It came out that Fox had zero plans to cut him and that he was just... He was just, oh, no, uh, nothing's problem. He was trying to make and it, more, yeah, it came out, or yeah, something. He came out where he would, he wanted to be a bigger star. He wanted more publicity so that they would pay him more. That was his thought process. That was his literal thought process. Because I've seen all the tweets about it and stuff, and now I have not paid any attention since then um, because, you know, I've been sick and I've not been looking. I've not been paying any attention. But, yeah, that was, that was what it was. It came out. He did this for money. Yeah. He literally did this for money. And it's like, yeah. so you, you did this. You gave your enemies, which were really just two Nigerian dudes. He paid $4,500 to beat them up or pretend to beat them up. Um, you did that. You gave your enemies ammunition now. You gave um, the racist idiots ammunition. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it just hurts. It, 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 again, we have to make sure that we don't let this um, cloud, like if something actually does happen to someone. Um <clears throat> But it's hard. It's the it's same thing like when you hear stories of um, people who have been asking, you know, ask for money and then they're lying about being uh, homeless or something or uh, they attack the person who's giving them money or like that don that thing where people got uh, Sorry, donations guys. for a supposed homeless guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then it ended up it was all they all faked the whole damn thing to um, milk go month go fund me. Yep. And just it, shit like was, this is something like four hundred thousand yeah. dollars they they stole and uh, bought like yeah. things, went on vacations and shit. Like, come on, man. 
Oh yeah, this is the kind of shit that makes me like, nope, you know what? You take this person and you fucking throw every book you got at This is kind of shit should be an excuse. Yeah. I just, I don't get it, man. I don't get what, what, like, why are we, why do we have to be so shitty towards each other? Yeah, Yeah. this kind of thing, uh, when somebody, like, if somebody cries rape and it's a false, uh, they've, false, uh, it never happened, false, whatever, accusation, um, like, fucking crazy, uh, just crazy shit. Why do it? What the fuck's wrong with you people? They, the, I don't know, the desire to be a victim nowadays is insane. Yeah, it, it's nuts, man. I I don't get I don't get this either. I I don't get I don't get the victim like the victim participation, right? Like um a conversation that a friend and I had just recently. Um she and I were talking about like people who fake things to belong and that that's mm-hmm. part of what it is, like where they fake you know being a victim and it's like why why are we raising this generation of victims you know yeah why does everything have to be a transgression why does everything have to be like like come on man i i just i hate it i hate it so much yeah. and the person in particular and i'm not going to mention any names because everybody deserves at least a little bit of anonymity unless they're really fucking shitty um mm-hmm. you know that like they faked being raped because they need to belong and I'm like, yeah. why? Why would you do? Them, why would you make that story up? An innocent person in prison for <clears throat> years, or even a lifetime. You ruin someone's life doing that. Yeah, like you can see, like, like I don't think her accused, uh, like the people she accused, uh, they were unknown individuals, of course, because that's the way it works okay. when they, when they, you know, accuse someone and pretend to be raped. It's like, why are you doing that? And it's like, yeah. why, why, why? Just. Be yourself, find something interesting about you, and embrace that. And if you don't find it, you don't have anything interesting, fucking make something interesting. But don't sit there and pretend to be this victim. Pretend to have this horrific event happen to you and just so that you can feel a part of things. Because you sit there, and every time you do that, you cheapen you cheapen that, that word, that idea, this horrific thing. Cause you, you just make it lesser than what it is. And you get it to the point, you water it down, and people aren't going to fucking pay attention anymore. Yeah. And, like, and, people don't... And most of these... It's like, God, it, it fucking frustrates me because these are serious accusations. And I have my own personal experience with those kinds of things. And it, it just, it, it will always and forever frustrate me. Yeah. And this is the kind of thing, like I said, not only it ruins people's lives, and a lot of times the um, fake accusers, the the fake victims, w- like when you start this, there's no going back. So if they find somebody, hey, is this the person did it? Yep, that's them. They don't. They have no concept of well, I should stop this lie now. There's none of that. There's no going back. If there had been two guys walking around the same neighborhood in mega hats, and we didn't have all this other evidence, like this clear, pretty clear cut. Um, they'd be, they'd probably be in prison right now facing, uh, hate crime, like the most heinous hate crimes. Everybody would be talking about how shitty and how fucking disgusting these guys are. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's, 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 it's kind of some of the worst kind of shit you can do. You know, uh, you know what? I, I want to turn this a little bit lighter. Um, yeah, because too much. Well, I, I want to go back to my, my little skit that I do the the stupid news. Yeah. Um, I'm sitting here and I, I browse Reddit while we do things if we're not playing the game because yeah. I like looking at stupid memes and yeah. uh, I, I just came across a news article, um, from, uh, local CBS 21. I don't know what channel, uh, West Valley city, um, which is in Utah, a would be armed carjacker decided to run off after realizing <laughs> the car he was about to steal was a stick shift. <laughs> That is um, great. West Valley police say the attempted carjacking happening at approximately midnight Tuesday morning as a man was getting into his car. The victim told police a man flashed what appeared to be a gun and got inside his vehicle. When the suspect got inside, he realized it was a stick shift, which he couldn't drive, and took off running from this scene. You know, I don't care if this is fake. I, I don't care if this didn't happen. I just, I love that this is a new story. Um, because it's just fucking hilarious. That's great. <laughs> um, you know, that's just fantastic. Yeah, right. Like, there we go. Let's make this a little lighter. We're talking about fake rape victims. Well, let's talk about a guy who tried to steal a car and realized he couldn't drive it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, do we have anything video game, movie related? Because, like I said, uh, I, I yeah. failed this week. So, you got to help so, me. So, <laughs> one big thing we mentioned last week 
Uh, or I gotta stop bumping my fucking mic, man. I, don't, I, I keep mine away from me for that very reason. Um, we mentioned about Will Smith uh, is not going to be in Suicide Squad two. Right, right. Uh, he has dropped out. So WB pretty quickly named the guy they want, and now apparently have gotten. And I can definitely say I'm not at mad. Um, they got Idris Elba is going to play Deadshot. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah so it, the thing that we all kind of thought might happen of him switching from one cinematic un- well kind of cinema one cinematic universe to what sort of a cinematic universe you know what man you you, you yeah, he's now part of the dc you've sold me on this movie like that's it that's all i need yeah. i don't care you got james wh- gunn you got brand new characters Idris Elba. Idris Elba. Like, I'm not even going to refer to him as Deadshot when we do the movie review. I'm calling him Idris Elba the whole fucking time. Oh, well, of course. I think we called him Will Smith the whole time anyway, the last time. <laughs> you know what? That's, that would make a lot of sense. And that's something that we would... That's very much in character for us. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, yeah. Especially me. Half the time, I can't remember characters' names. Just come up with some shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that sounds about right. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, you know what? I'm fucking down for this now. You got James Gunn. You got Idris Elba. That's all I need. Like, straight up. Like, Idris Elba is one of those actors like Marshala Ali and others. If I see their name in a thing, I'm going to watch mm-hmm. it. Like, straight up. Or at least I'll want to watch it because I haven't watched, uh, what was that, The Tower or whatever, the, the, the Stephen King novel that he was in where Matthew McConaughey played the bad guy. A uh, Dark Tower, right? Oh yeah, don't yeah, just just we just skip that. <laughs> <laughs> we we don't need to mention that. I, I, I it's that's that's one of those nah, bro. What I want to see because uh, you mentioned Masha Ali um, or however you say his name is, I want to see that movie that they were nominated for. Or won? Did you're they win about, the Oscar? You're talking about um, oh my god, I love the movie Moon something. Moon, oh. uh, the guy from that, but the I haven't seen that one either. But oh, this year he was Moonlight. also uh, in a movie. Um, that won it won a bunch of Oscars and was one of the top ones. Mm-hmm. I, I don't I don't remember if it won because I don't really give a shit about the Oscars. Right, um, no, I, I don't I either. Do like, I should probably check out this movie or that movie. I, right, easy, right. With uh, Viggo Mortensen. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of those. Oh, uh, you're his... white. I'm black, and this is in fucking. We're you know driving together, and shit's happening. I don't know. Um, just like, isn't that. Uh... Isn't that his direct- directorial debut or something like that? Viggo yeah, Mortensen. I don't think is so. Is that the movie where he directed it and starred in it, or is that a different movie? Because there was a I, movie that was released recently. I I don't know anything. I like I said, I'm not paying attention because my brain's been scrambled. Um, but where he uh, he directed and produced and whatever, and it was his first movie where he did that. Is Vigo? Um, the movie I'm thinking of is uh, Green Book and. Oh, I don't think that's it. That's that Maybe. was. I don't know. Directed cast. I wanted the director. The director, not the director. Blah blah blah. Okay, no, I don't think he directed it. Okay, but uh, he is a part of it. It's him, Marshala Ali. Uh, I, I, I think I, Marshala I Ali plays a like jazz. Uh, he plays some, uh, like a a jazz music player or singer or something like that. And uh, <laughs> yeah, does he play jazz flute? <laughs> Yeah, jazz flute. I don't know, <laughs> Mr. Burgundy. Um, Vigo, would you play jazz flute for us? <laughs> Vigo plays a working class Italian American bouncer who becomes his driver. So it's them driving around, and it's you know a typical race thing to make white people feel better. Apparently, oh okay, is I got the you. description I heard of it. <laughs> I mean, we'll do. Okay, I can't say will because I won't. I can't include myself in that. But white people really will do anything to make themselves feel better about the transgressions of the past. It's like, yeah, it's like, oh, this beats racism. Like, no, I don't. No, I don't think that's how it works. You know what's beating racism? Not electing Donald Trump. That that that'll beat racism. <laughs> no, it won't. of course uh, it, it might won't, be a step in the right direction. It would definitely be um, a step in the right direction. Yeah, it's directed by Peter Farley. Who that sounds Trump. familiar, but I I don't know. He's got two credits. He did um, Dumb and Dumber 2. Okay, that's where I heard his name. I don't care anymore. He did The Three Stooges. He did, wow, I, this is kind of, he does terrible, terrible movies before now. Shallow Hal, that one was funny, but it's terrible. Uh, I mean, me, myself, yeah. and Irene. Okay. Yeah, he did some really, he, oh, he did the original Dumb and Dumber. So yeah, he's he, done, he's basically done a lot of great to mediocre Jim Carrey movies. Yeah. Um, he's he's known for Jim Carrey Jones. movies. 
Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll give him that one. That was actually a really good movie, um, which was strange because, but you know, it, it's oh, just, it's just good yeah, animated. No, it's, yeah, it's, I love, I love Osmosis Jones. Anything with Chris Rock, though. I need, I need more Chris Rock in my life. Yeah. You know. And he did a voice. Yeah. I wish, I wish he could have done the voice for the cartoon. Of course, I understand why he didn't. You know, they didn't want to fucking pay him. Oh, they, they never get the yeah. same. It kind of sucks. Actually, yeah. I don't know why, but I saw a clip from the Kung Fu Panda cartoon the other day. Um, and I don't know if they got the same voice actor to do the uh, their their little master dude. He sounds almost exactly like from the movie. And the guy they got to do Poe sounds damn close to uh, Jack Black. So I was I was actually impressed a little bit. Uh, I mean, it's like when they uh, switched from Mel Blanc to uh, whatever Bugs Bunny's voice actor was after Mel Blanc, and he, he was fucking oh, dead well, yeah. on. So I mean, like even as somebody who had grew up on that shit, maybe I could find out, maybe I could tell the difference now. But somebody who grew up on Merry Melodies and all that, I I could not tell the fucking difference, man. I really yeah. couldn't. And, I think certain times you can kind of tell. You you can definitely tell. Sometimes I think I can tell. It's it it's not. It doesn't quite match. Right, Mel Blanc, right. but yeah, yeah, no, I get what you're saying. Well, uh, specifically, the... um, I don't know about you, but every iteration of Daffy I've heard since, uh, other yeah, than he... like in the old ones, yeah, he's definitely had a different voice a lot. Yeah. Like his his voice has changed quite a bit. Um, because I I don't know maybe licensing, maybe time constraints, couldn't tell you, but yeah. yeah. His voice has definitely changed over that I can tell you, but there were times where you know I I I couldn't tell that it wasn't Mel Blanc. Oh. But Mel Blanc was fucking special, dude. Like they called him the the, the man of a thousand voices because he could, oh my god he could do everything. I love and we've talked about it. I have fucking mentioned it multiple times. That documentary on voice actors, uh, whose voice or who's that voice or whatever it is. Yeah. On Netflix, and if you find there's other ones out there too. Um, Mel, anything you could, I've watched on Mel Blanc, like history stuff. He's a fucking he's a genius. He was amazing. The guy just that's that's why we got cartoons that's why we yeah. got some of the best things wb's ever produced and it's all back in like god so many years ago <laughs> yeah. decades and... i'm trying to remember the guy's name that does uh did fry and um professor farnsworth billy he does... billy billy something it might be yeah, a billy it's something definitely billy so. something vo- he um... does he does uh like popeye nowadays and he's billy fucking West. amazing at it Billy West, you're Billy right. Billy West, fucking dude. Yeah. I swear, I I was gonna say Billy Mays, and I'm like, no, Joe. Billy that is Mays, fucking here. wrong. <laughs> that is so fucking wrong. What is oh, wrong man. with you? Epic rap battles of history. I want them to bring back and do another Billy Mays versus the um uh the fucking the Liquid Seal guy. What is that shit? Flex Seal. Flex Seal. Billy Mays versus the Flex Seal guy. Right. Um. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I want to I want to um, tell a, a, a story before we go any further, and it has nothing to do with anything, but I got to get it out of me because it was so stupid. Um, oh, then before you do the quick story, real quick, Anthem once again in the news doing stupid shit is killing PS4s because of course it's doing something that dumb. We'll we'll come back to that. Um, let's put a pin in that because I I, I got to get to that. All right, I don't even want to come back to it. It's, we've beaten up on that so much. It's the dumbest shit in the world. Sony's like, oh, we'll look into it. Um, well, EA, <laughs> EA is aware of it now. Anyway, yeah. I'm at work this morning. Um, and uh, like part of the things I do are things I'm not really supposed to do. Uh, someone else is supposed to do them, but I got to do them cause I got to get done. And I was going around and I was zoning, which is the act of pulling products to the front and making things look nice. And, uh, we have a, a part like called the catch a season wall on our, one side of our store where we put seasonal items up, Right. And stuff like, uh, you know, maybe it'll be spring cleaning, so we'll put cleaning supplies up or stuff like that. And uh, I miss parts of it, so I, I, I'm walking by, I'm like, oh, I should straighten that up. And um, there is this lavender-scented general cleaning stuff sitting on this wall, just fucking whole wall of this stuff. And um, it's there. And you know that, how we had the conversation earlier in the day where we were talking, we were referencing the Louis C.K. joke about the dog phone? Um, yeah. Okay, I had a, I had something of an incident there where I was looking at this and I'm like twenty eight gallons. What would I need twenty eight gallons of this stuff? And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> not realizing that you don't use 
mix this shit and make 28 gallons of this shit at first. And so I'm going through all the motions like, man, what would, what would, what would 28, what, what, what would be the benefits of making 28 gallons of this shit? And I'm going to, and one of the thoughts that popped into my head was, man, that'd be a lot of purple drink because the stuff is purple and I am an yes. idiot. So I, I'm just going through these motions and I'm coming up with ridiculous scenarios like, man, we could clean the entire gym. And then there's another voice in my head, like towards the back. What gym are you talking about, Joe? And I'm like, and and that's kind of where I clicked like, what the fuck am I doing right now? Because that's, that's how out of it I've been with everything that's been going on and, and all the shit's going on in my head. And I sat there and seriously contemplated for like 10 minutes things I could do with 28 gallons of this lavender scented liquid cleaning supply. <laughs> I could clean the whole apartment building. Man, Top man. The bottom. I bet I could get those, I, I bet I could make it the windows clean, or, hey, let's go feed that to the homeless people, like, what the fuck, dude? Like, yeah, I just, I don't know what the hell happened, but I well, seriously- don't feed cleaning liquid to homeless people. Yeah, they're not worth it. <laughs> Ouch. That actually reminds me of another thing, um, and this is really quick, really short. Uh, I used mm. to be a part of an IRC chat on Ryzen, like 2000, circa like 2000. 12 2014 between that area and uh there was one day i get on i don't it, it was just dumb conversations and shit because you know how rc is it's just dumb conversations and uh i mentioned that i was making bacon cheeseburgers and someone asked me why <laughs> and someone else was like for for consumption obviously and i was like no i'm gonna feed them to the homeless people like <laughs> and someone was like you're too poor to argue with me eat it and I'm like, no, I'm going to lace them with cyanide. That way I'm solving two problems at once. Hunger and homelessness. <laughs> Solve the homeless problem with cyanide. Cyanide laced cheeseburgers, right? Like, All right, anyway, let's, let's, let's go. <laughs> That's awful. Let's move on. Because yeah. um, I, I had to get the stupid story out of my way. Like, I'm really intelligent, but sometimes I do dumb shit. Here's you know? an uh, uh, interesting story from Waterbury, Connecticut. Um, a man faces divorce after his wife found out that he was not actually deaf and dumb and had been faking it for more than 62 years to avoid having to listen to her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That goodness. sounds like why my grandfather went deaf. <laughs> that, you know what, man, having interacted with your grandma, I could totally see that being a reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, right. Like I don't I shit, I don't know, man. Uh, that that's brilliant though. That that that's a long con right there. Like my question is this though. What was she offering to you that was so good that you put up with that for that long that you would pretend to be like did she give amazing te toothless blowjobs or something? I I this, don't I would assume that this is somebody who's like I'm not giving her half my money or He's uh, just a kind of guy that will go with the fucking long con, no matter what. He just sticks to his guns. He's, <laughs> he's stubborn as all to hell. That goddamn lie. Yeah, I, you know, I can almost respect that too, man. Like, like, God. But that, that's, like, that's just amazing to me that he stuck with a lie that he was deaf and dumb for sixty-two yeah. years. How did she find out? Does it say? Oh no, it's uh, this was a tweet. Oh. I don't. It's not an article. <laughs> Snopes says it's fake, so it's probably fake. Uh, you know what? I don't care. Fuck it. It's canon. It's fine. I mean, I can see. I believe it now. Feelings are more important than facts. Exactly. That's the age we live in where feelings are more important than facts. Like, right? Like, God, that's how Donald Trump got elected. I will never not rag on him until he is out of office. I can't help it. I, I don't like to soapbox all the time, but I, I hate him. Anyway. Yeah. I say dumb things. He does. He says a lot of fucking dumb things. I, I, I don't like this. What is it? What What do you not like? Share it with us. In this era, this era we're in, where everything has to be fucking is on Twitter. I just don't think our I, I, president doesn't need a Twitter account. Yeah, doesn't need to be saying things like, "Oh, we're gonna create a state-run media," because he doesn't think uh, the uh, news media is telling the truth enough. It's just insane. It's fucking crazy. You see that uh, Trump is signing Bibles for tornado victims. <laughs> Was it like this? Somebody walked up with a Bible. Signing Bibles, and they're gonna make them. Um, I, I, I need to, uh, I need to do a little bit more research. So before I go any farther, yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like sit here and uh, speculate or anything. But the gist of what I've gotten out of it mm -hmm. is that 
it's like a book signing for him. So uh, I'm I'm gonna have to, like I said I'm gonna have to deep a little bit into this and it's like come on dude what is wrong with you? I mean if that's the only be kind of I don't know that's the only thing he's willing to sign I guess that's safe. Uh, somebody walks up with like a fucking satanic bible or something or like mind calm for some crazy shit like that. If he was just signing things, that would be messed. Yeah. Uh, I I don't know, man. I'm just all right. Any more gaming news or movie news or anything? I the gaming news has been pretty light. The only thing um that I've seen said the anthem thing, which is just almost too dumb and just it, it's it's like we thought I I honest to god thought with Fallout um 76 we had finally we had had something that just couldn't would not stop the bad news would not keep rolling in and then ea said hold my fucking beer and just the clusterfuck with anthem ea is said insane. hold my six pack and then yeah. just went to a new whole new level it's, of it's incompetent causing, fuckhead it causes um blue screen of deaths on the pc and on the PS4, it's causing shit. Maybe we did talk about this. It's causing the console to crash and shut down as if you had just disconnected the power cord to it. Oh, and, and not only that, for some people, it's not coming back on. Yeah, it's that can that is apparently causing some consoles to brick. Um, and like I know there's been there's been updates. Sony said send us all the data you can. EA has apparently acknowledged it. It's just sort of thing where I'm like I don't. I don't have the patience to go and see what you're doing. Like they better, hopefully they're making it right. And I'm sure they will because it's actually good. It would, it's, it's more bad news. Just this like avalanche God damn of it. bad news. Right. <laughs> Dong. Dong. I, I've um, given up. I'm, I'm just going to embrace it. Exactly. Yeah. You just kind of have to deal with it. Take a shot every time Joe hits his mic. Um, well, that's like four shots so far. You're be, <laughs> depending on your, uh, resistance you might either be really shit face or just have a nice, nice mild buzz yeah it's just it's it's crazy as hell um they are uh, have announced and are soon releasing the battle uh, uh royale mode for um battlefield 5 uh which is interesting since they still are lacking content for their deluxe edition and buyers and the next um content pack i guess is the best way to put it since it's not it's free dlc it's their roadmap to fucking finishing our goddamn game we charged you for right uh it only has one map and that's it <laughs> that is terrible so we're still lacking um the united states still lacking a bunch of you know major militaries that uh world war ii major conflicts so yeah that game is just i i, I keep like even on it generally when you go to a video game subreddit right. you will find lots and lots and i do find people defending the game um you still find people defending anthem even the fact that it's bricking console there are always going to be the most diehard kind of fanboys for games and stuff right uh when i go to the battlefield 5 subreddit there are defenders but for the most part it's people who are just like wow ea really fucked us once again yeah and it's like yep this is why this is like this is the battlefield that I went. I'm not buying it. I'm going to stop myself from buying it, and I did, and I'm really glad I did. Oh yeah, just, I I bet, man, because holy fuck, so it, much disappointment. I never played Battlefield. I have Battlefield Three on Origins. I got it for free back when they gave away free, and I I'm fucked. Yeah, so apparently there's still a, a pretty big community of people playing Battlefield Four. Um, I think I I know I have that on the xbox one for free uh i don't think i have it on origin um and i've thought about getting it and playing it again because i battlefield was an amazing game uh battlefield 3 was an amazing game. yeah both of those games fucking fantastic 100 percent uh recommended it's just it's like they did hardline they had visceral do fucking shut visceral down after that and then battlefield and, and it was really like a beta test for battlefield 5 battlefield 1 yeah rather yeah. Um. And then killed them and created Battlefield One, which for its faults, I still enjoyed that game. Um. And then Five just continues having those faults of un unreasonable load times to get into matches, unreasonable load times to fucking quit out of um matchmaking, and then all just a, a half a game. Yeah. Like I've said, before, I don't get it. I I I don't get how we continue to tolerate this kind of shit. You know, like I, I fucking I just. Eventually, it'll eventually the bad word of mouth and the bad press is going to make it so people stop buying these games. I don't know. 
I, I don't so, know. I think there's always going to be those people that will, will do it. Enough, I, enough of that will actually, I think, affect the investors, affect the investors who are the only ones who, who EA and Activision, these big comp, AAA uh, developers, give a shit about. Yeah. And that's when those questions are going to start floating of, hey, so why do we keep hearing how terrible this game I've funded uh, two million, ten million, twenty five million dollars into? Uh, why do I why does my grandson keep telling me that it's fucking sucks? What's going on here? Like that kind of shit. Yeah, uh, I, I could see that eventually. And that's probably why they're having in the problems they are now. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it didn't save that. They couldn't save uh, Battlefield Battlefront. I don't so. know, man. Well, yeah, they couldn't say fucking Battlefront because they just didn't try. Let's be honest. No, here. oh no, they've they've just fucked that fucked that up. Uh, I'm I don't know. I don't remember what the mo- the Star Wars game that's actually in development is because they killed the only one that sounded interesting. Yeah, it's probably a Destiny clone. It's my guess. I mean, Anthem everything's with a the Destiny Star Wars clone. skins. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. Live services, man. Twenty five dollars. Twenty twenty dollars. I'm sorry for your. Uh, yeah, twenty five dollars. Or twenty dollars rather for your for your Star Wars game. You want to look like Darth Vader? Twenty bucks. Give me twenty bucks. Yeah, twenty bucks, little man. Put that shit in my hand. Oh, um, that's good news. Oh yeah, is uh Jay and Silent Bob the reboot or whatever it's called? That's uh in development right now. It's film. Yeah, yeah. Um, I see Kevin Smith post videos of like the what's going on. Like, hey, this is our day of shooting type thing all the time. I haven't watched many. I haven't watched a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh. I'm excited. I mean, I just, I want more Jay and Silent Bob. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty I, I, awesome. I definitely want more Jay and Silent Bob, man. I remember first seeing Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back and not even knowing there were other movies, like, uh, as a part of that. Like, you yeah, know, obviously stuff like Dogma and shit. Like, I had no idea that they were all connected. And then one day we, we, we watched them and I was like, oh, fuck yeah. These, these are great movies. Um, mm-hmm. Kevin Smith's definitely made some, some funny shit over the years. I don't know what the fuck, mo- I, I don't know what the fuck Tusk was. I, nah. I mean, Tusk you know, and, Tusk, uh, Tusk is not a movie. Tusk is a fucking experience. Like, yeah, that's what that is. And it's an experience that I'm still not fully comfortable with. And the basic <laughs> premise was, let's turn Justin Long into a walrus. And let me tell you, they fucking did exactly that. And, and I Kevin just, Smith went, I still have contacts in the movie industry. Let's burn those bridges, shall we? <laughs> That is pretty much exactly what happened. I just, I'm like, <laughs> and then he's like, "We didn't burn those prisons enough." Here, uh, have yoga, yoga hosers. hosers. <laughs> yeah, yoga hosers <laughs> where Nazi bratwurst come to life, and I, I don't even know. That's just oh, what God. the fuck, Kevin. Like an excuse to put my daughter and uh, her friend into a movie and put a giant nose on um, Johnny Depp with a really Johnny bad Depp. French accent terrible french accent and a mole that moves around every time you see him on screen yes i love every every hilarious yeah, every time every single time that mole was somewhere different it, it literally they they stuck to that gag anytime he appeared on screen even if it just swapped camera angles to look at the look at the girls and look back at him that can't that mole was somewhere else it was great i it was so good like i i just and Johnny Depp did it for free too, because he just wanted to do it. He oh, he loved doing that accent and yeah. pissing off other people. Like, like I'm I, sure. I, I loved it when we were seeing him, and we, we were up there in Columbus, and he sat there, and he was like, he was telling the story about how when he called Johnny Depp to do the part, Johnny Depp answered and just started monologuing in, in the guy's <laughs> voice, just <laughs> talking. And he's like, "All right, Johnny Depp is in. That's it. Johnny Depp's in. I got him. Yep." Uh, it was so good. Yeah, that, that, you know what? That movie was probably more fun than I than ever deserved to be. Um, mm-hmm. Just because of how stupid it is. It was um, bad, but it was a good bad. Yeah, no, it, it's it's that good cheesy bad, kind of like how you can enjoy the Expendables, even though it's just like so groan worthy sometimes. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I I, I don't know. <laughs> Is there, I don't think there was much other. It's like for some reason, Expendables made me think I thought I there was something for that, but nah, I can't think of something. Can't well, think of good. anything. I remember. Um, that's good because I mean, I'm I'm still not feeling great, so this can be a short episode. I don't yeah. know anybody will mind. We'll call it there. So there you go. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. We soapbox, we social justice, whatever. I don't care. All over your face. <laughs> Just deal with, with it. the snowflakes. <laughs>
You know, the funny thing is, like, I am I am as far from a snowflake as you can get as far as, like, what offends me. Yeah. But what offends me is stupid shit. Like, because I want I want humanity to do better, but yeah. I surround it and I see just so much dumb shit. It's like, aren't we supposed to be better than, than this? And the answer is no. Go fuck yourself because, you know... Black people aren't allowed to have shoes, according to Republicans, so whatever, right? <laughs> I'm fucking done. I'm fucking uh, done. That's... Um. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck that came from, but yeah, that's good enough for me. Uh, that can end it. Uh, all right, guys, you know, we love your faces. We thank you for everything yeah. you guys do for us. The patrons uh, give us money. Everybody else who listens who tolerates us for whatever stupid fucking reason, whatever you, you follow us on social media, you, you listen to our podcast, you watch the occasional game videos that we put out. Um, thank you all for coming with us on this journey. Um, we're going to continue yeah. doing it because it's fun. We love doing this. We like getting together and just talking about dumb shit. And maybe one day we can make a career out of it, but probably not. But we're going to try <laughs> anyway. Yeah. We're gonna keep doing it for a while. Um, so go ahead, you know, like I said, mention you know, mentioned before, follow us on social media, we're ungodlygeeks.com, where you can find all our links right at the top, places to get the podcast, places you can follow us and stalk us and you know, tweet dumb shit at us because I totally respond when you tweet dumb shit to me, I will respond to you. So because I run that account, I don't Luke's failing on the Facebook front, but that's okay because Facebook hey, sucks hey, no, anyway. I'm I'm doing really good on the that, that front. I have gotten the last two episodes posted. <laughs> Yeah, you only missed the, the like the, the what the following the, the previous sixty or so episodes. It's fine. Ten. Okay, well, what about before and that? that? Gives them a bag lo- backlog too. Um, you know, yeah. There you go. I have nothing more to say. Um, I'm I'm tired. I'm sick. I really have to piss. So for the ungodly geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. And fuck EA. Always, always fuck EA. Right up the ass with a cactus.